Maybe they were saving room for Michaela Skinner. Michaela Skinner is top 10 in the country on this event. She's won three times. Last year, she won the Pac-12 championships. The year before, she was the NCAA champion. Back handspring layout, step out, dancing right out of it. She is a very powerful gymnast. When you think of power, you think of floor and vaults. Those are great events. Balance beam is all about control, so her skills have a lot of amplitude. I want to correct myself, Amanda. I was reading her floor notes. Those are floor notes that I read, not beam, but she's won twice on this event and four times 9 8 plus. I like to make one big mistake each show just to give it that live <laughs> feel. Solid. Switch leap to that straddle jump. Tom Farden joins the party at the beam. She has a big dismount. She flashes that you. The crowd goes wild, really sets her up. She's got to get a precise takeoff. They just need this to finish their best beam rotation of the wow. year. And look at Farden, says, get on your feet. We talked about UCLA and all the tens, and I said, has Michaela Skinner gotten one yet? I don't know. That routine was beautiful start to finish. She's got incredible difficulty, too, which I always love to see on the balance beam. That can spring layout, step out, snapping those arms, moving right into the dance. But impressive dismount, double tuck. It is risky because it's hard to stick. She did it. Michaela Skinner has been great on everything her entire career, including the years she's been here in Salt Lake City. She has never received a 10. Well, in the bigger picture there, Balance Beam has been the struggle. They've tried to find this lineup. That is the first time we've seen this team go start to finish looking confident on this event. Michaela acknowledges the crowd, but the judges didn't give her what she wanted, a 9.95. What does it take, Amanda? Well, I think it was an unbelievable routine, but the beam